Sometimes we go through life and we cannot figure out why things have happened to us. So many of you are hurting. There are things that have happened to some of you that you can't find the strength to tell anybody about because it dredges up so much pain when you talk about it. I am so sorry that those things happened to you. I'm sorry, I apologize for the fathers that molested you and the, the mothers that abandoned you and the, the, the parents that abused you and the, the, the foster parents that treated you like trash. That's not God. That's people. That's people in their sin. And sometimes we take it out on God. We're angry at God. Where were you when this happened to me? God was right there. But here is the thing. Whatever you have gone through, God is able to get you out of it. And he's also able to get all of that crap and poison out of you. You don't have to live with that for the rest of your life. You don't have to relive the 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 the, the, the tragedies, the the, the atrocities of their treatment. You don't have to relive the unwarranted punishments and the abuse. I feel sorry. I, I apologize. Let's say it like that. I apologize to those of you women who have been abused and raped by your own husbands, who have entrusted your lives and your care to somebody to treat you like you're nothing. That didn't come from God, you guys. Sometimes, you know, there's a movie called Sleepers. And when you see what some people go through at the hands of adults, helpless kids, and they can't do anything about it. They can't fight for themselves. They can't fend for themselves. And who's going to listen to them? But let me tell you, God knows all and he sees all. And for all those hurts, when you look at what those boys went through in that, in that movie, Sleepers, when they grew up, None of them ever were able to marry and have kids and have a normal life because there was so much poison in them. Their lives got jilted from the very things God wanted them to enjoy. In reality, those people in real life who suffer that stuff have hope in their hearts. You know why? Because God is not an unfair God. God he, he balances out the playing field. Those that have been pressed down low and that have been oppressed and treated wrongly and mistreated and abused and molested and raped and sold and beaten and all of those things, do you know that God's love has the power to pull you up out of all of that? He can pull you up out of your pit of despair. He can pour so much love into you that you will actually have hope, maybe for the first time in your life. All I ask you to do, forgetting those things that are behind, which you cannot do without God's help. Press toward the mark. The first mark you need to press toward is God himself. You know why? He has all the love that you have longed for and fantasized about and dreamed about and thought could never happen to you. He has that love for you. It's waiting. All you need to do as he knocks on the door of your heart is open your heart and let him in. He will not only go into your heart, he will go into all those ugly, painful, dark, secretive places and those, those, hidden, those hidden corridors that nobody knows about. And he will remove your pain. He heals. He heals the broken in heart. He mends the wounded. He gives peace 
to those of you who are full of turmoil, who are full of anger, who are full of volatile, I don't even know what to call it, but who are walking time bombs, ready to explode at any given moment. Some of you who are suicidal, God wants to give you life and that more abundantly. He doesn't want you to destroy yourself. You don't deserve that. You're not the one to put this pain on yourself. None of it is your fault. I don't care what those perpetrators said. You were victimized. None of it was your fault. I don't care if you found sick pleasure in some of it because you thought that was the only way you would get love. You are the victim, not the perp. Don't let them put that guilt on you. That is not for you. They're the dirty ones, not you. Ask God into your heart. Invite Jesus in. Ask him to fill you with, your, with his Holy Spirit, to forgive you and cleanse you and, and get all that goop out. Put you back together again and make you whole. He can enable you to forgive. You don't have to have coffee with him, but he can enable you to forgive so that the poison they shove down your throat will no longer be there, will no longer choke the life out of you. God bless you. God bless you as you seek God, his righteousness, his healing, his peace his everlasting mercies. God will take good care of you if you only give him a fighting chance. Invite him in. Where your pain is, everywhere. Okay? Invite him where you can't let anybody else see. Invite him in to those, those secret chambers, those torture chambers. Invite him into your nightmares. Invite him into those areas where you carry the most shame and the most pain. God bless you.